Jelly Welly, whatever the heck it's called, pet, and he maxed it out to level 10. Let's go. He's got nine healers. Oh my gosh. Today's video is sponsored by the Amazon App Store. We're checking out Ebony, The King's Return today on the Amazon App Store. This is a city building game where you can upgrade your buildings, your resources, and your generals to get stronger and fight off your enemies. I've really been enjoying the mini games here that are really fun and addicting. It can help you progress further in the game. And when you install Ebony, The King's Return through the Amazon App Store, we have some amazing offers that you can take advantage of. One of them being up to 25% cash back, depending on how much you spend. All this is possible if you use the Amazon coins within the Amazon App Store to make these purchases. Amazon coin is a digital currency that is available on Android devices in the following countries. So what are Amazon coins? Coins help you save time and money with certain Amazon apps and in-app purchases. You simply install the Amazon App Store and select coins or offers tab. You can also purchase them through amazon.com. 100 Amazon coins are worth $1. And the more coins you purchase, the more you'll save. Spend them just like cash inside the Amazon App Store or on in-game items. I don't see any reason for you not to use Amazon coins. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to check out the link in the description down below and use it because that helps out this channel too. Welcome back ladies and gentle fishes to the next matchup in the Carbon Fin Creative Master Series. We got Champagne and Romeo versus Diego and Demo. And guess what? The new update just dropped and I hope we're gonna get to see some angry jelly action today. But Romeo, not using the angry jelly. What does he got? Siege Barracks on the left, Warden Walk on the bottom. We got Super Minions. We got three recall spells. What the? Wall break for the Siege Barracks Pekka's to go inside. Sure. Queen with a frozen arrow walking up. King's got giant gauntlet. We got this rage gem on the warden walk seeking a shield with the hog rider puppet for the champion who's already in on the right side of the base. Remember, we got three recall spells. He's going to be doing some sort of recalling for these heroes. Did he just recall his super minions? What the? He just recalled his champion. He just recalled the super minions from the siege barracks. <laughs> okay. Queen's still walking outside. Warden is struggling a little bit. But he's still alive. One super minion on the right. Sure, sure, sure. Queen pops her ability up on the upper side of the base. Warden is still chilling with the healers and the rage gym, doing his thing. We're taking a lot of time. We dropped the Barbarian King to pull the ward on over. Wallbreak was successful. Ice Golem, Apprentice Warden, Normal Golem, E Titan, Giant. Okay. A second Golem. Pops the Warden ability early with the King ability as well. Secondary Wallbreak gets us into the next compartment. King and other troops gonna go smash through everything now. Redeploy the champion, redeploy. Or no, he just dropped one super minion overgrowth. Jump spell. What the? Super minion on the left. Wizards on the top. Still has another recall spell he could use. What is going on? This looks wonky. Royal Champion ability. Dude, he might once star Redeploy super minions and give him a rage spell. <laughs> and then recall the champion a second time. <laughs> he gets the town hall. What in the world? And then drop her again from the top. I guess. Was it creative? I guess. You tell me. That was interesting. But it's gonna fizzle out here. At 86%. Very nice try. Diego with the first attack for VNE Sporting. He's got Queen Charge. He's got 54 minions, three lightning spells, and a recall. Okay. Queen healers on the right side of the base. Frozen Arrow, Giant Gauntlet, Rage Gym, and a Haste Vile Seeking Shield combo. Alright. Which way is Queen gonna walk here? Well, 
That wall break will help push her right inside toward the X bone scatter shot. So minions doing a little bit of early funneling, rage spell deployed. Get this queen through the first set of defenses and the enemy royal champion. With three lightning spells and a sinking shield, he might be going for some sort of royal champion trick here. We got the earthquake as well. Got to keep an eye on that royal champion whenever she does come into play. Queen taking a lot of damage, so we recall her the heck out of there. All right. Now the warden drop delayed with the rage gem from the left side of the base. Siege barracks from six o'clock. All right. Eagle locks onto the warden though. It's absolutely wrecking him. Adios warden ability. Skeleton spell on the bottom side. Pekka's going against the king. Redeploy that queen way over on the left. Sure. King pulls the warden. Dude, that expo is going to kill your warden. I don't like that. Bro, champion is in on the bottom side of the base. There's the quake. Three lightning spells. Seeking shield. Come on, seeking shield. Seeking shield. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Take out the monolith behind the town hall with the seeking shield. Yo! Nice RC trick. She clears everything in that compartment. King with a jump spell, but he doesn't make it all the way through. He gets wrecked early. We got a whole lot of minions for the top side of the base, but there's still one Inferno Tower to worry about. He snuck in two super minions. Can they actually take that out? Can they actually take that out? Oh, they do? <gasps> But I don't think we have enough minions for it to really get through. Queen's stuck on a Lava Hound. We have her ability. We've got an invisibility spell. Three headhunters that he didn't even bother to use for the enemy heroes at any point. If Warden didn't die so early, maybe King could have gotten through a whole bunch of stuff and this actually would have worked? I don't know. I think it actually would have. If Warden didn't die early, this probably would have worked. Down goes the Builder Hood. Down goes the Air Defense. Queen has ability. Yeah, King just needed to get like two or three or four more buildings and Queen could have been uh, able to get the rest. Nice try to Diego. That was interesting. Interesting. But uh, we're pretty much all tied up after the first round of attacks. Two to two. GG. Champagne with the next attack for uh, Perky's Lair. What do we got? Five skeleton spells, a jumping spell. We're going with a skeleton donut for the town hall. Ooh. Tell me he gets it. Tell me he gets it. Tell me he gets it. Come on. How do you make the CC invisible? You whiffed. You whiffed hard. Can we still get the town hall though? Heck yeah, we do. And the CC? Dude, it's literally on one HP. No way. No way. It's on zero. It's on zero HP. He got robbed. He got robbed. What? I don't see any HP points. You see any pixels? Oh, you got scammed. Queen, Warden, healers on the top side of the base. Sure. Down goes the mortar. Down goes the Inferno Tower. We got a jump spell and that's it. He still has two healers that he didn't deploy. He's got bowlers. He's got a golem. He's got ice golems. He's got headhunters. Frozen arrow. Rage gem. Giant gauntlet. Hog rider puppet seeking shield. Three ice golems, a barbarian king deployed. Lose a healer to a seeking air mine. Frozen arrow carries the queen through the enemy queen. Eagle artillery gonna damage the queen. Balloons on the right side funnel the corner. Siege barracks with an apprentice warden. Ooh, I actually like that combo. That apprentice warden's gonna help the peckers for the siege barracks quite a bit. We pop the king ability and then we pop the warden ability. Normal golem for the left side of the base with bowlers. <laughs> Bowlers. They look so goofy. Did he drop two healers on these guys as well? What in the world? Two healers on a wizard charge. I'm very confusion right now. They get absolutely wrecked. Uh, sir? What are you doing? Royal champion on the left. Queen and Warden still chilling in the core. We got Queen ability. Champion gets sent to the Shadow Realm. Dude, she got obliterated. He had witches in the Siege Barracks. That, that Apprentice Ward is still alive. But it's a fail. It's a fail. 
I don't know. We're three attacks in. This doesn't really feel like... They're going with good creative attacks. It feels like it's this is just battle of who can deploy things in the weirdest way. <laughs> uh, honestly, nothing super impressive yet. But hopefully we'll see something juicy in the next attack. Healers keeping that apprentice warren alive that long is the most impressive thing so far. Demo is in with the newest pet, the angry jelly and he gymmed it to max level 10 already for us Woo! and he's got seven healers and three lightning spells here we go rocket balloons invisible hog kill squad with a secondary invis spell snipes a scatter shot okay three lightning spells what the giant arrow through the middle of the base huh <laughs> He just sniped the monolith, sniped the Invis Tower, damaged the Town Hall quite a bit. Okay, now we turn it into a Queen Charge, but she is getting wrecked by these Expos and Multi-Archer Towers. Air Skelly's distracting, we might need another spell for her. Does he have any more spells? Oh, he doesn't have any more spells. Peck on the outside of the base, Queen gets obliterated. Ooh! Ooh! Rip Mr. Demo. Look at this. King with the Angry Jelly. He skips everything except the defenses. This is how the new Angry Jelly pet works. You attach it to a hero, and they basically get the 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 AI of a royal champion without being able to hop over walls for the king and queen. They only go for defenses. That's what I mean. So he skips everything else. He's going for defense after defense with the Grand Warden helping him out. We get pop king ability. That really wasn't that spicy, though. Yeti bomb for the town hall. The queen was supposed to take that out. Oh my gosh, the yetis actually skipped it. Never mind. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeti mice. Oh, one rocket balloon to save the day. That was scary. We got healers on the king. Where'd the angry jelly go? Oh, that poor little jelly. He dead as heck. He dead as heck. Royal champion on the left side of the base with her ability. Sure. But this one didn't work as well as he wanted it to. Awkward. Hopefully they do a different jelly attack <laughs> that actually works. Dude, all four players failed their first attack in this matchup. What a wonky start. What a wonky start. You get the storage for some extra percentage points, but it fizzles out. Fizzles out, and percentage probably won't matter because in this tournament we have the judges voting at the end anyway. Romeo! With the next attack, what do we got? 16 Root Riders, an Overgrowth, a Recall. Sure. Champion's in early with the Spirit Fox to make her go invisible. She'll get the Expo. We recall her the heck out of there. He almost missed the Spirit Fox with that Recall. Flame Flinger doing his thing on the upper left side of the base. Couple of normal wall breakers. Alright. What the? Alright. BK over there. Witches on the right. A whole lot of giants with a Rage Gym, Grand Warden, Archer Queen, Combo, Wombo, Trombo with a Frozen Arrow. Let's get it. Let's get it. Send a couple of headhunters, get ready to pop a juicy warden ability. I don't know if it was that juicy, but he definitely popped it. Overgrowth upon the left side of the core. Town Hall is not overgrowth, so we can go snipe that. King popping his ability, but he was slowed down there by a headhunter or something. Rocket balloons for the monolith. Sure. Sure. Free spell for the Town Hall. Redeploy the champion from the bottom side of the base. We had a whole bunch of jump spells here. The core overgrowth is gone now. Poison Tower going to slow us down. We did get the Town Hall. Unicorn in the Rage Gym does do extra healing, right? That's good news. But this Archer Queen is still getting absolutely bamboozled. Never mind. She is not just bamboozled. She is... She's toast. Rocket Balloons out of the, the Flame... Flinga, Royal Champ ability, Paul Radus blasted through some defenses, Rocket Balloons getting through the left side. I don't know. 
Did you guys enjoy that? I really don't feel like it was that creative or that crazy. It's just like a couple of weird deployments and then into a hero smash. I guess. I don't know. Gonna be another two star here. Cool. Yeah, maybe if the queen didn't get targeted by the eagle, she could have survived and gutted the core with her ability. Possibly. Nice try, Mr. Romeo. This one gonna finish at like 86, 87%. The eagle is in with four golems, a pecker, and some balloons. Uh. Uh. Queen takes out an expo, takes out a wizard tower, then we recall them the heck out of there. Sure. Huh. All right, all right. Hit the invis. Woo. Perfecto. Redeploy. Queen and Warden on the right side of the base with some golems. Eagle Artillery is already awake. Wall break upon the corner. Rage Gym from the Golem, allowing us to do some extra damage, allowing the Unicorn to do some extra healing. Flamey Boy getting some value. Rage Tower. A lot of archers, a lot of headhunters. Good poison spell placement, though. Able to take care of all of those. Another Golem King deployed on the top side of the base. Cool, cool. Off the Warden ability. Queen getting bamboozled by a single. Oh. Another jump spell. A royal champion. A P.E.K.K.A. Ooh. A creative P.E.K.K.A. Headhunters to fight the Barbarian King. Pop the Barbarian King ability on offense. Queen's still alive. Ro Royal Champion is alive as well. Warden got wrecked. Somehow he's the first hero to die. Invisibility spell to keep that Queen alive on 1 HP. Down goes the Monolith. Flame Flinger still flinging. Royal Champion still championing. Hog Puppet straight into an outside giant bomb. That's got to hurt a little bit. Queen popped her ability. She's getting an extra building or two, but she's about to get wrecked. And another fail. This actually might be the first Town Hall 16 video I've ever posted that has only fails in it. <laughs> oh, I don't know what these guys are doing, man, but they're not tripling, that's for sure. That's for sure. Are we going to find out what's in the Flame Flinger? We might. Or is time going to run out first? LOL. We got some super minions. Don't worry, they're creative super minions. Seek an air mine. Get another building. Boom, boom, boom. 89%. Oh boy. Champagne with the final attack for Perky's Lair. Did he hit a triple here? They might need him. They actually need some creativity points. I think this is just going to come down to whoever the judges favor today. Straight up. Who do the judges think have been doing the coolest uh, army deployments? Queen with some healers on the bottom side of the base. We're bringing super wizards, not in a blimp, but just normal super wizards. Super wizards with an invis spell. Another invis spell. Oh. 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 Ooh. Okay. I see you. It was like a blizz, but without using the siege machine. All right. And they're still alive. They might get even more value. Maybe. Super wizards pop off. You go, girls. I guess they're guys. I mean, it's 2024. Uh, you never know. Down goes the expo. Rocket balloons, ice golems. Queen still doing okay. Are we going to rage up the queen anymore? 
Uh. Oh, that rage was late. She's alive, though. Siege Barracks King, E Titan Warden with a rage gem from the right side of the base. Queen. Nice invis spell. That kept her alive. Okay. Jumpy spell. Queen getting wrecked by a ricochet cannon. She's dead as heck. We pop the king ability. We pop the warden ability. Got a lot of units that are alive on the right side of the base. Send the royal champ with the spirit fox combo wombo trombo. Healers are going to get wrecked by the scatter shot while flying across the map. King needs to get that town hall. What is he stuck on? He's stuck on the enemy king. Now he goes inside. Phoenix ability might clutch up here. Royal champion goes invisible. Down goes the town hall. Tornado trap spinning. But it's not a three star, is it? <laughs> Dude, straight up, nobody's going to get a triple today. Oh, this is wonky. The new update drops. These homies get the new monolith level, the new eagle level, the new builder hut levels, and all of a sudden nobody can triple? Yeah, we'll say it's because of the teehee. RC has the old school diggy. Dude, let's go. No, that's the diggy from the Grand Warden. He just transitioned over. <gasps> Wait, did I just double jinx it? This is a triple. This is a triple. Champagne. Royal champion. She going. She going. 24 seconds for cleanup. Get the Tesla. Get the storage. Finally, I can get excited in this match. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. She got plenty of time. Hog Riders from the Hog Puppet. Down goes the clan castle and we finally have a triple with four super wizards in a wonky way. All right. And Demo bringing the new Jelly Welly, whatever the heck it's called, pet, and he maxed it out to level 10. Let's go. He's got nine healers. Oh my gosh. He puts it on the Barbarian King. Warden with healers on the left side of the base. Queen with healers on the right side of the base. We got a Rage Gem on the Grand Warden. We got a Frozen Arrow on the Archer Queen. Flame Flinger working on the north side of the base. Early overgrowth in the middle. What the? King with the Angry Jelly Pet. Watch what he does. He only targets defenses. He's going to go straight in toward the Town Hall. We got the Quake Spell to wake the Town Hall up. <gasps> Poison spell, quake spell, freeze spell, king dive straight for the town hall. Now the queen was supposed to take that jump. She still might. King gets the town hall. Poison spell doing a great job. Taking out CC troops. Overgrowth expires. Two E-drags from the top left side of the base. Rage upon the queen. She gets to the royal champion. She's still alive. Headhunter's kind of giving her the bamboozle though. We have to pop her ability. Warden walk on the left side of the base. With the Royal Champion now, they're working together. Free spill is in. Okay. E drag still getting some value. Flame Flinger still flinging. Hog Rider Puppet from the Royal Champion. There's like 17 different things happening at once. I don't have more than two eyes though. Queen still doing okay. Healers getting in range of the multi. The E drags all die. We still got the Flame Flinger troops. Warden and Royal Champion die. Healers moving across the map. Can the Queen stay alive? Oh, this Ricochet Cannon is going to hit hard. We go with the Free Spell. Queen, stay alive, stay alive. Get an extra Inferno Tower. We got a wall break, but she's going to get wrecked by the Eagle. <gasps> no! Rip, Mr. Demo. It was looking so cool. Down goes the Queen, and it's all up to the Flame Flinger troops. And healers could potentially swap over if it's ground units. Sends a Headhunter early. It's all... It's air units. Uh... Balloons and an E-Drag not going to be able to get through this. I don't think there was any combination of troops that would have actually been able to get through everything. Without spells. If he had a Rage on this E-Drag, bro, that would have been cracked. He's still going to get through all the core without the Rage, isn't he? Maybe not. Maybe not. Man. It was cool, though. It was creative. He deserves a little bit of credit. Maybe. I don't know. Was it that creative? I don't know. Headhunter's trying to get that CC building, and this one's going to end, uh, what, nine stars to eight? But the judges' votes is going to be what matters the most. So we'll see what they decide. This one gets 90%. We'll be back when the judges have a decision. And the votes are in the judges. <laughs> the judges did not like this match at all. Oh, gosh. But after all the bonuses, looks like Romeo and Champ end up with a higher score, the higher average. So they are moving on and Demo and Diego are eliminated.